the prompt for day 16 was forest, so I did this bark shader. Kind of trippy. So, started off with uh, Voronoi using F1 subtract smooth F1 to give me this kind of rounded cell shape. And then I masked out some of them using that color value and put in a smaller version into the gaps. This just gives me that variation. I'm using all 2D for noise at the moment and I've just UV mapped the sphere just project project from view. Uh, trying to work out how I'm going to get the flat tops just to make it a little bit more convincing as bark and I put some noise with a linear light beforehand to give it the variation. Using uh, just a noise separate XYZ and then logarithm that gives me the kind of interesting high frequency noise that I've put over everything. And then oak trees have this thing called a burr, uh, it's essentially tree cancer. It's like a lump full of knots, but it's very, has a very beautiful grain figure essentially inside it. Um, so I wanted to get some of those lumps on this bark shader. Uh, they disrupt the bark slightly as well. so I. I wanted to make sure I had some kind of control for how it's going to affect that. What you can see me doing here is trying to work out how to do knots, like uh, on the surface where you have a branch come off. Um, so I was just using a method to push the coordinate space out from the center and then back in, in a kind of ring shape. And then I can feed this back on uh, into the rest of the shader and use the profiles for an RGB curve that gives me the displacement from the surface and it's also displacing all of the bark around it so it kind of follows the grain a little bit. Just make sure I've got a little bit of a almost like a seam line at the bottom of the burrs just to make sure that they stand out a little bit and just correcting things. Uh, originally for the animation I was expecting to have it kind of rolling down the sphere. Um, in the end I went for a transform in the four, with the 4D, uh, 4D texture nodes. So I replaced all of these 2D ones with 4D and just animated the W. So what I've done here is I've taken some of my main uh, map ranges and I've just control shift D duplicated with the inputs and set them to stepped linear. This allows me to get a kind of uh, a stepped look which I can then put through color ramps and join back together. This lets me have a lot of really interesting color variation. It kind of layers it up in the similar way that you would with uh, watercolor, something a bit transparent. And then also just making sure that I put a bump node on top, just to give me that final high frequency noise to make everything look a little bit more realistic. Rolling into day 17, this prompt was fungus. So I did this little mushroom growing animation. Starting again with the sphere. Just masking off the section that I want to pull down for the, the cap. And then the rest of this is just the stalk. And then the base is a little patch of mud. So to get my stem to come in, I just needed to scale down the X and the Y. So I used a multiply by minus one, minus one, zero. And that inverts those axes. And then I can use my mask, my map range on the Z. That gives me the mask that I can then control the X and Y scaling with. Just to add some additional control I put a mix hard, I put an RGB curve and that gives me the profile control which I've been able to give the little bit of a skirt to there. And now just working on this top cap, pulling it around a little bit making sure that I'm not intersecting geometry so I've used a back facing socket from a geometry node just to make sure that I'm not clipping through and then adding just more map ranges to get the exact section that I need put that through an RGB curve and that's giving me the profile for the 
kind of the more interesting roll off on that top. Just adding gills now underneath, which I've done with a radial gradient, multiply, and then sign, and then absolute. And I've just added that to a value that I am then taking off the Z. I want it to look kind of like a time lapse or like it's been growing naturally and mushrooms do have a little bit of movement as they grow. So I added some noise just to the X and the Y as it grows with an animated seed on that just to give the variation through time. Now just starting to touch things up. So I've masked out the bottom section. I've just added the mud node, the one that we created for the weathering tutorial. And then the rest of the mushroom, just starting off with a subsurface scatter and using noise to give me the speckles and just masking out a couple of patches to give a little bit of additional color to the pink on the cap and the skirt. Then these last bits, they're just the fade to sphere and the clay wipe. This tree ended up being fairly dense and it's kind of got into a habit of pushing things as close as they could with this one. It just seemed to happen sometimes. Uh, these map ranges I'm adding now, these are just controlling the animation. So we've got the growing through the whole thing, and then we've got the cap appearing that goes up for most of it. But then like the gills and the skirt, they only appear towards the end. And the noise variation that is ongoing throughout. 